Taylor Swift calls herself a Christian. I am Christian. That's not what we stand for. But here's the problem. She does not believe in biblical values. And she makes it obvious in her songs, videos, and so forth. And in one of her videos, she decided to send a message to believers for not supporting unbiblical lifestyles. So she decided to dedicate the video and song to support something that is very disturbing, especially if you call yourself a Christian. I'm just going to show you a couple of scenes from this video. Notice she approves this lifestyle. Then she depicts believers as being out of touch with reality while holding a sign that says Adam and Eve. So she's just going to be sarcastic because she refused to believe that if you're a Christian, you're supposed to separate yourself from the unfruitful works of darkness. But she does the opposite and she makes it clear. Another thing that is very concerning, if you claim to be a Christian, why would you depict yourself as a female goddess like Taylor Swift in this video? And remember Doja Cat did the same thing. Not only that, take a look at the hand symbolism because there's a subliminal message here as well. When one hand up and one hand down, it means so as above, so below, which is a common phrase among people who practice magic. Now take a look at this tarot card. Notice it resembles the image of Taylor Swift in this video. One hand up and one hand down. And at the bottom of the card, it says magician because it's associated with magic. Now take a look at Baphomet. What you notice? One hand up and one hand down. Now let's take a look at Lakeith Stanfield. He also has a 666 tattoo. What do you notice? He's holding one hand up and one hand down. Do you all think this is a coincidence? No, it's not. This is a common hand symbol used by people who partakes in darkness. And Taylor Swift knows exactly what this means. And she makes it obvious by adding a witch version to her song Willow. And this explains why her concerts turns out like this. These practices are well known among people who partakes in darkness. They can tell you exactly what this means. I've never seen one person who promotes these things who didn't have diabolical attachments. You just can't separate yourself from the adversary if you come into agreement with this. I don't care how famous you are. There is no way. Light and darkness has no fellowship. So when I see her doing things like this in her videos, it's because she can't separate herself. She plays with eternal judgment. She portrays herself as the adversary, which clearly contradicts the scriptures because it won't be any rejoicing. It won't be any dancing. It won't be any entertainment in this place right here. But I realize so many people are following her because she's popular. In fact, they compromise for her because it's Taylor Swift. But you must choose this day who you're going to serve. You can't serve her. You can't serve the world and serve the most high. They go to these concerts and they come into agreement with music that is worn against the most high. When people start worshiping celebrities, that's when they fall into the snares of the enemy. And let me say this, the enemy will always put idols before you to turn you away from the truth. He raised up golden images all the time, just like Nebuchadnezzar did in Babylon. And he told the people, when you hear the music play, bow down to the golden image. You see, the enemy is doing the same thing. He raising up celebrities like golden images. And when they play their music, people bow down to them. This world wants to lead you into darkness. And they use devices. They use popular people. They use music. And they use many of the devices. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. Take a stand for the truth. God bless you.